What's up guys, Econ John here. In this video, we're gonna talk about homothetic functions and their relevance in economics. Let's go. So what are homothetic functions? A homothetic function is a monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function. A monotonic transformation is a non-negative transformation which preserves the ordinality of the function. Meaning that given the set of numbers, one, two, and three, three should always be the biggest output followed by two and then one. If this order changes, our transformation is non-monotonic. For example, if we have a homogeneous of degree one function, which would be f of x is equal to 2x, monotonic transformations would be 2x plus one or 2x times two. A non-monotonic transformation of this function would be negative one times 2x. This is because it would affect the order of our inputs. That's it. So what does a homothetic function tell us in terms of economic theory? Economists often find it useful to assume that utility functions are homogeneous or homothetic since utility functions are first and foremost used as a tool to rank consumption bundles and often a little distinction is made when discussing demand analysis. Note the following, a homothetic function is simply a monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function. Utility functions are only defined up to a monotonic transformation. Thus, by saying consumer preferences are homothetic is equivalent to saying that they can be represented by a function that is homogeneous of degree one. What makes homogeneous of degree one functions convenient is that they can be represented in much simpler forms. By looking at our cost function over here, in the homogeneous of degree one version, right, our cost function is just a function of wage and output over here, y is just smacked on the side over here, right? This is, this is convenient for when we're using calculus over here because we can just differentiate that away. Same thing by our expenditure function where we just smack utility on the side and our indirect utility functions and Marshallian demands where we just smack income on the side, right? Those are interesting because they imply a straight income expansion paths, linear ones going straight through the origin. This is how we come up with unique equations like those used in Gorman polar form. So that's what I have to say about homothetic functions uh, and the relevance in economic theory. I hope this video helps and I'll see you in another video.